So, dear brothers, uh, last week we studied about the Holy Spirit part one, where we studied that the Holy Spirit uh, is compared to He, uh, just a comparison, <clears throat> and the uh, Holy Spirit is not a person, and why the uh, word comforter is given, <clears throat> and why it appears only four times in the Gospel of John. <clears throat> we also saw the Hebrew and the Greek name for the word spirit. In Hebrew, it is called as Ruah. In Greek, it is called as Pneuma. The meaning of it is called uh, invisible uh, power. <clears throat> but uh, in our Bible, it is translated uh, in various ways. Uh, actually, if you see in all these uh, verses, uh, it uh, clearly actually means uh, that it is uh, the invisible power of God. So let us read a few verses. <clears throat> John 4.24, John 6.63, 1 Timothy 1 7, Acts 19 21, Isaiah 7 2, and Exodus 15 8, and Genesis 26 35. Can uh, both of you read with us? Uh. John 4 24, God is spirit, and they, they worship him, most worship him in his spirit and in truth. Good. So God is a spirit. So what does it mean? God is a spirit means God is invisible. You see, we can't see God with our uh, naked eyes. You see, he is not like uh, any. You see, idol or something, he is uh, invisible. And if you worship him, worship, worship him in only in the spirit and in the truth. So here, that word uh, spirit, uh, if you see, actually it means, uh, you see, it is an invisible power. So God is uh, not visible, he is invisible. But we that uh, worship God should worship him. How? Not uh, with the visible representations, uh, doing so much of offerings and all these things and all uh, you see, doing all rituals and all. No. See, you should be from your heart. That's what uh, it uh, versus clean mean. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Moshe, brother, uh, kindly read John 6, 63. Okay, brother. It is the spirit that quicken the flesh profit nothing. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. See, the words which I speak unto you, they are spirit, they are life. You see, the words I speak, the, the words which Jesus spoke, it's a spirit, it seems. Uh, that means what? Uh, is it a person? The words which Jesus spoke from his mouth, uh, could we see it? No, it is invisible. You see, it can't be seen. Even now, see, I am speaking. Can you see my words? Whether it is coming like this, going like this? No, we can't see. But yet, uh, we can feel it. Uh, has uh, these words got power? Yes, it has got so much of power that uh, it can bring a sinner <clears throat> to, you see, a path of righteousness. So much of power is there. Hence, these words are invisible, and yet uh, powerful. That is the meaning of the word spirit. So let us read one more verse. First Timothy 1 7, brother. <clears throat> First Timothy 1 7. Ashish, brother, can you read? Huh? I think it's Second Timothy. Ah, correct. Sorry. Second Timothy 1 7. Mm. For God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. See, God has not given us a spirit of uh, fear, but power and love and sound mind. You see, here uh, it says the work of the Holy Spirit. Uh, it is not fear, it seems. Uh, when we get the Holy Spirit, it doesn't cause us fear, it seems. Uh, but it gives us power. You see, that is the meaning of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and uh, you see, it helps us to develop that love. And uh, it gives as a sound mind. Sound mind is what? Uh, a clear mind where we would be able to make decisions as per the word of God. Uh, so, you see, so the, it clearly means that uh, it is the invisible power of God. Read Acts 19.21, Mosul brother. Acts 19.21. <clears throat> okay, brother. After these things were indeed, Powell proposed in the spirit when he said he had passed through Macedonia and Asaya to go to Jerusalem, saying, after I have been there, I must also see Rome. See, Apostle Paul decided in spirit, it seems. Purpose in spirit means decided in spirit that he needs to go to, you see, Jerusalem. And also, he needs to go to Rome, it seems. Now, how did he decide? When did he decide? He decided in spirit, it seems. So what is the meaning of the spirit? Huh? What is the meaning of the spirit? Here, the mind, you see, of uh, Apostle Paul, 
That is compared to spirit. That means what? Can we see somebody's mind? No, we can't see somebody's mind. It is invisible. But yet, it is powerful. See, kindly read the same verse in Nepali Bible. Can anybody of you read Acts 19.21 in Nepali? <clears throat> Hmm. Read more some of that. Okay, brother. Okay, I got it. That's 1921. Ah. And this is the way to say that the power of the Atma is the power of the Atma. Okay. So here it's given Atma. Atma is huh? decision. Okay. He decided in Atma. Atma means what? Huh? In his mind. You see, actually, the word uh, spirit uh, should have been properly translated as, you see, huh? what? Uh, as a mind. If you read in our language, in Canada, you know, and uh, Hindi, you know how it's given? Huh? He decided in his, what? Uh, huh? In his heart, uh, in his mind, uh, to go there, it seems. Uh. So here again, if you see, dear brethren, the decision which each and every individual take, they are taken usually in their mind. Uh. Isn't it? That's what the verse clearly means. So, the mind is uh, something which is invisible, which nobody can, you see, uh, clearly see. And uh, read uh, Genesis 26.35, brother. Genesis 26.35. Uh -huh. Which were a grief of mind unto Isaac and to Rebekah. See? Which was a grief of mind, you see, Isaac. So here again, that word mind, actually, that word is uh, translated from the same root word uh, where spirit is translated. So in uh, it actually means it was a grief of spirit, uh, you see, unto Isaac and Rebecca because of the behavior of Esau. So again, if you see, uh, what is that meaning? It was a very difficult situation to understand and to digest uh, for Isaac and Rebecca because of the behavior of Esau, it seems. Let us read a few more verses, sir. You see, uh, <clears throat> read Genesis 45 27, brother. Genesis 45 27, brother. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, mother, can you read? Okay, brother. Hmm. And they told him all the word of Joseph, which he, ha which he had said unto them. And when he saw the wagons, which Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of Jacob, their father, revived. See, the spirit of Jacob, their father, revived. The spirit of Jacob revived. So what is the meaning of the spirit here again? You see, that means uh, his heart condition. See, he was totally saddened after uh, he heard that Joseph was killed by a wild beast. But actually, there was a false news. He never thought in his life that he is going to see Joseph again. He was so much displeasure, you see. Huh? Depressed. He was so much in love with Benjamin. But ultimately, you see, at the end of his life, when he heard the news that Joseph was alive, his spirit, you see, his heart, you see, his mind got so much revived that he wanted to see Joseph and, you see, huh? die in peace. So here again, the word spirit, what does it mean? Does it mean it's a person or a personality? It's an invisible thing. You see, which no man can see. That's what Jesus says in John 3, 8. Read bro, John 3, 8. Mm. <clears throat> the wind bloweth where it releaseth, and though heareth the sound thereof, but cannot tell when it comes, and whether it goes, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. See, everyone who is born of the Spirit, they are like wind, it seems. Sir. Clearly, Jesus says in this verse that uh, how is the Spirit? It is like wind. Wind, nobody can see. It's mentioned there itself. But we can hear the sound. You see? But we can't see from which direction it came, which direction it went. But yet it has got that power. You see? That is the way, eh? the meaning of the Holy Spirit in the Bible. And moreover, the same word spirit is actually used for the angels in heaven. Read Hebrews 1.14, brother. Muslim brother, can you read Hebrews 1.14? And they not all ministering spirit send forth to minister for them who shall be here of salvation. 
See, all the angels in heaven are called as ministering spirit systems. Ministering spirit systems, not uh, they are sent to serve the church. So, what about spirits? Uh, ministering spirits. We know that uh, God has given us guardian angels. These are uh, what? Uh, invisible spirits. Uh. See, can we see our guardian angel? We can't see, but they are next to us. You see? But we can't see with these naked eyes. Uh. Hence, uh, the yeah, word uh, spirit means actually invisible power. And uh, moreover, you see, we got a clear incident of uh, Elijah and Elisha. See, Elijah was supposed to be taken up. At the time, Elisha requested from Elijah that uh, he may give double of the Holy Spirit, you see, to Elisha. Elijah said, okay, you will get it. But it's upon one condition that you have to see me being taken to, you see, up uh, in the sky. Then only you will get a double portion of the spirit which uh, that is there in me. So, read, brother. Uh, second Kings, second chapter, ninth verse, brother. Hmm. Second Kings 2, 9. Hmm. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I said shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double profession, prof, profession of the spirit be upon me. See, let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. So what did he request actually? He requested, God had given you so much of power to do, so much of miracles. Give me the same double portion. It did not mean that, uh, uh, see, after you are taken, you see, uh, give me the person which is in you, give me the double person which is in you. And uh, you see, uh, one person was there in uh, uh, Elijah. Mm -hmm. And after uh, Elijah was taken, two persons came in, entered uh, Elijah. No, it is invisible power. You see, uh, read, brother, verse 15. Same chapter, verse 15, brother. Uh. And when the son of the prophet which went to you at Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah does rest on Elisha. And they yeah. came to meet him. And Record. the spirit of Elijah rests on Elisha. So, what does it mean? That means a person came and rested upon him. No, it's an invisible power. The answer and the clear explanation of this is given in Luke, first chapter. 16 and 17 also, brother. Look for chapter 16 and 17, brother. Huh? And many of the children of Israel shall return to the Lord their God, and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elisha. He, he shall go in the spirit and power of Elisha. See, Chanta Baptist again will do the same work of Elijah himself. So, how will he go? He'll go with the same spirit of huh? Elijah. Power. Power of Elijah. You see? So here again, it clearly proves that our Holy Spirit is there. Invisible power. Like for example, we say, no, huh? uh, for a sportsman, what should be there? A sportsman's spirit should be there. So what do you mean by a sportsman's spirit? Uh? Is it a person that we need to purchase from some shop or something? No. That is invisible power, the mind, the attitude. You see? The energy, the zeal which we need to have to do our sports activity. So similarly, you see, dear brethren, the Holy Spirit is the invisible, you see, power of God. And it is the same power which God used in the creative day. In Genesis 1 2, we read, no, huh? the earth was uh, without form and void, and darkness covered upon the face of the earth, and Spirit of God moved upon the face of the earth. What does it mean? The Spirit of God moved his himself. That means, did a person move upon the water like this? No. The Spirit of God moved means what? It was. Invisible. God used his power to do the creative work. Like, for example, imagine today, big, big construction companies build big, big, uh, you see, skyscrapers. After the construction is over, if somebody comes and asks, oh, such a wonderful uh, building, uh, who built it? Uh, if you ask, uh, what will the people reply? Will the people reply, you know, this is the work of a mason, you see, all the laborers, and uh, would they use their name? 
saying that uh, uh, you see uh, uh, this person uh, built a building no they would simply say it is the architect's work though the architect or the engineer who not even lifted a tool would have not even touched and lifted on stone to build that huge construction everything would have been done by you see the laborers but still whose work it is it is the architect's work similarly god commanded then everything came into existence that is the power of god read with us psalms 33 verses 6 to 9 psalms 33 verses 6 to 9 brother ah by the word of the lord with the heavens made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth he gathered the waters of the sea together as a heap he laid up the depths in his storehouses let the earth, all the earth fear the lord let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him for he spake and it was done he commanded and it stood fast okay. for he spoke it was done he commanded it stood forth you see so it says by the word of the lord the heavens were made so much of power is there you see to god that is power so today you know ministers prime ministers presidents they have so much of power no if they tell if they tell in sitting in their seat if they tell that today you see this thing has to be done huh? what will happen that will be done though that work has to be done thousands of kilometers far away if they say that uh, say today uh, a wall has to be built uh, at the border of india china what will happen uh, immediately the work uh, will start uh, you see it will be built uh, though that minister need not go to that place particularly and do that work if he commands it will be and that is the invisible power dear brother so it is the same holy spirit uh, You see that God gave to Adam. We read in the subject of soul. No, body was there, but there was no life at all. So God breathed into the nostrils of Adam the breath of life. The word that there, the word breath of life, is again of the word spirit, which means invisible power. The breath which we are living, you see, which which we are breathing, can we see it? We can't see it. We we can feel it, but it's got so much of power. this is the invisible power it is the same holy spirit that god gave to bezalel to build the tabernacle of god you see and how and what type of holy spirit god had given to him let us read exodus 31st chapter verses 2 to 5 brother hmm. exodus 31st chapter verses 2 to 5 okay brother see i have called by name bazalel the son of uri the son of hur of the tribe of juda and i have filled him with the spirit of god in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship to devise cunning works to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stones to set them and in carving of timber to work in all manner of manner workmanship it says god has given him the spirit of god in wisdom in understanding in knowledge you see to work all manner of worship workmanship that means the holy spirit had given him so much of wisdom understanding knowledge so all these things are what uh, you see understanding wisdom can we see it no knowledge can we see it no these are all invisible power dear brethren using this only bezalel built a beautiful tabernacle dear brethren you see samson you know we all remember the samson the great warrior no so once what happened the physicians came and arrested samson they tied his hands and legs and they you see they were taking him on the way but uh, what happened uh, samson saw a jaw bone of an ass so as soon as the holy spirit came upon him what happened to him sir immediately the cord you see was broken you see immediately took the job on of an ass and killed thousand philistine systems today even if you give one gun also to kill thousand people is very difficult but samson has killed thousand people with water with a job on of an ass so how did this happen huh? when god's spirit came upon him huh? read judges 15 chapter 
ஒன்ஸ்ரிபிள் <laughs> it is invisible power you say therefore when david sin what did the first prayer of david was some 51 chapter you are free you read it now now what did david require pray he said god you take me you take away whatever you want from me but please don't take away the holy spirit from me why why if you take the spirit from me immediately i'll be possessed with the evil spirit i'll move out from him god yeah please forgive my sins uh, that the spirit means what uh, the spirit uh, which is invisible power of god you ran see uh, first samuel 1614 ashish brother can you read first samuel 1614 but the spirit of the lord departed from saul and an evil spirit from the lord troubled him see spirit of god departed evil spirit came in that means one person went one person came no power of god the same holy spirit was given to disciples during the pentecost we read now huh? what happened when they were all assembled in a room the spirit of god came upon the apostles they spoke in different languages so oh, was it visible it was a invisible spirit of god you see and what happened it had so much of power that the very same day how many people got converted brother how many people took baptism brother on pentecost 3000 uh 3000 people imagine even today also nobody comes uh, to get uh, baptized 3000 people but on the very first day of apostles preaching imagine who are these people these are the people who claim before pilate that uh, that uh, crucify him crucify him crucify him but now what happened uh, 3000 people among them got converted uh, confessing their sins how oh, this is the work of the holy spirit ha uh, huh? it also tells in one first corinthians 6 chapter now that we are the temple of god you see god is dwelling with us how not that god is literally dwelling with us it is through the holy spirit that god is dwelling with us people then and uh, the prophets of old testament how did they write the bible you see so many things written many years before how did they remember like for example moses how did he remember about uh, abraham how did he remember about uh, you see joseph uh, he did never lived there no how did he know about adam but god holy spirit uh, as they were motivated by the holy spirit the invisible power of god they you see wrote the bible second peter first chapter 21 brother ha huh? for the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man but holy men of god spake as they were moved by the holy ghost hmm as they were moved by the holy ghost see moved by the holy ghost not invisible power therefore if you see daniel he wrote uh, many things in the bible but he could not understand anything then at last what did he ask uh, the lord he put a question saying lord what is it uh, he did not understand uh, because that was uh, how the matters were concealed by the power of god see why has god given his holy spirit if you see to understand the mind of god okay say we are all a uh, uh, wicked people we are all fallen short of uh, god's grace we are all sinners so our mind is sinful to understand the holy mind of god 
what do we want that we need holy spirit that is the reason god has given the holy spirit listen apostle paul tells this one in uh, first corinthians uh, second chapter see first corinthians uh, second chapter apostle paul clearly tells about the work of the holy spirit and the purpose of god giving us the holy spirit so let us read first corinthians mausam bada read first corinthians uh, second chapter read from read from the bible uh, <clears throat> verse 6 uh, 7 uh on uh, my verse 8 and 9 uh. when none of the princes of his own knew for had they known it they would not have crucified the lord of glory ah uh, wait brother see what does he say none of the princes of this world knew that jesus was the messiah if they ever knew they wouldn't have crucified jesus himself so what is the meaning of this one that means their eyes were blinded they could not understand grasp the mind of god the plan of god okay so they were blinded they did not have the holy spirit so they were blind read verse next brother next verse ha huh? but as it is written i have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for them that love him ah but uh, he says but the things uh, which were hidden to other people god has revealed the same thing to us ha uh, huh? what is revealed uh, the things which eyes has not seen the natural eyes which has not seen the things which a natural ear has never heard the things which never entered the human heart like for example the resurrection of the dead the whole world believes today that the soul doesn't die it's immortal as soon as a person dies it goes to hell or heaven but bible doesn't say so bible says the soul dies you see the soul the sinner they shall die and every person will come back in the resurrection in the thousand years he shall continue to live on the same earth you see for a thousand years so these things how will it be in the thousand years it will be a full peaceful kadnishar there will be no non non vegetarian there will be no destruction quarrel in the thousand years imagine these things which never into the normal man none of the religion says what the bible says to you they were all totally blinded but god has revealed these things the hidden things in the bible how the spirit seems now okay read verse 10 hmm. but god has revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit certain all things you the deep things of god ah the spirit the holy spirit what does it do it seems it searches all things all things is what it says the deep things of god see the holy spirit what does it do it searches the deep things which are there in the mind of god you see now where do we keep the deep secrets of our life where do we keep it we keep it in a computer we keep it in a mobile or we keep it in a book where do we keep our deep secrets of our life tell me on our soul on our where heart. brother heart correct on our mind you see it is a feeling sir Ah, we don't express it to anybody you know we keep it only in our mind so similarly it says this uh, the plan of god is a deep thing of god now who can understand uh, the deep things of god only who has the mind of god only who can understand god's mind or god's heart can know the deep secret of god now this is what the work of the holy spirit does. the work of the holy spirit is that it searches the deep you see ha huh? the things of god it seems uh, that means he searches the mind of god and and uh, you see teaches us uh, therefore what did jesus say don't worry if i go i will send the holy spirit he shall guide you into all truth he shall give you understanding he shall bring you to understand all things uh, which i have taught you this is the work of the holy spirit uh, you see uh, 
Uh, read, read verse 11. Uh, it gives an example of you and me. Uh. For what man know the thing of man, except the spirit of man who is, is in him? Even so, the things of God knows no man but the spirit of God. Mm. See? It gives an example of a human being. Huh? How do you understand other person's uh, feeling, other person's mind? How do you understand? Only those person who has the same feeling can understand him. Like, for example, two friends, if they are very close to each other, as soon as a friend sees him uh, in a very sad mood, you will understand why you are sad, what happened, did anybody scold you, you say, did your father scold you? Immediately they will react, no, why? Because there is so much attached. That is the reason they call us best friends, because they understand each and everybody's mind. They're very compatible, you see. So, similarly, who can understand the mind of God? One who is very close to God. So, how do we get close to God? It is only by God's Holy Spirit, dear brother. So, what is this one, if you see? This is the invisible power of God, you see, where we can understand the mind of God and come very close to God, understand more about His plan and purposes recorded in the Bible. Therefore, now you remember, uh, why did God give the Holy Spirit to Jesus? Because to understand the mind of God. You see, therefore, what happened? Once Jesus was baptized, what happened? It seems the heavens were opened. You read the verse, brother? Huh? Have you ever read that verse? Read Matthew. Yes. Matthew, third chapter, brother. Matthew 3. <clears throat> Verse sixteen, brother. Huh? Okay. Mm. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were open unto him, and he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. Ah, you see, the spirit of God uh, came upon him. Heavens were open, it seems. When you took baptism, something was open, brother? Did the heavens were open? No. No, I also. Nothing was open. All the doors were closed. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. what is the meaning of this one? Heavens were open means? Huh? Heavens were open means what? The heavenly things which were hidden, the deep things of God, which no man knew, God began to reveal to his son Jesus. Hence, what happened? 40 days he went for what? Immediately Fast. after. Huh? 40 days he went for what? Fast. Uh, everybody says fasting. Actually, Jesus never went for fasting. Uh, he uh, went for learning the Bible. Correct, brother. So, as he was understanding, see, God had revealed him the deep things in the mind of God. No? To understand it and to assimilate it and digest it properly, he went into the wilderness for how many days? 40 days. Like, for example, you have gone from Nepal to Japan. Why? Uh, you couldn't have studied here. Huh? No, you can study. But to understand more, you see, to grasp it properly, to clearly get educated. So, similarly, Jesus went in the wilderness. That was an isolated condition when no one was there. So, to make it concentrate and understand what is the purpose of his life uh, in God's plan. And do it exactly. Because Jesus was under the law. He, he should not have done even a small, minute mistake. A small, minute mistake also will lead him to death. So it will collapse the entire plan of God. So he had to understand it clearly. So what happened? Jesus went in the wilderness to understand it more deeply. So as he was understanding, he did not know as the time went on. You see, he did not know how much time it had already gone. Like, for example, imagine if we are really interested in understanding the word of God, as we keep on listening to the classes, do we ever know that our time is already spent? No. If you are really involved and dedicated in God's word, say, even if two, three hours uh, word of God is spoken, we don't even come to know that our time is already spent. Huh? Similarly, Jesus had the same experience. Read Matthew 4, brother. Matthew 4, uh, verse 1 and 2, brother. Huh? Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit 
into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungry. Hungered. Afterwards he was hungry. That means he has never felt that hungry feeling for how many days? 40 days. So 40 days he was totally involved in God's word. Like for example, Moses went on the Mount Sinai to get the tablet. He was in the Mount for how many days? 10 days. 40 days, 40 nights. Exodus 34, 28 with that. Exodus 34, 28. Hmm. 34, 28. Ah, 34, 28. Exodus. Okay. And he was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote up upon the tables the word of the convent, the Ten command, Commandments. Ah, he did not eat nor drink. That means he was so much involved. And God gave him the instructions. He was writing everything clearly. He was in. Similarly, Jesus also. So, this is the work of the Holy Spirit. The invisible power of God. Did you understand God's mind? Clearly. So, so dear brethren, even in the thousand years, what will happen? The same Holy Spirit will be poured upon all flesh. Joel 2.28, we read now. God's Spirit shall be poured upon all flesh. How can a person be poured Huh? Pour means water. That's a power. Invisible power. You can pour it upon anything. You see? It will happen upon the whole world. Even upon Israel. Then only Israel's eyes of understanding shall be opened. Now Israel can't see Messiah. They are not able to realize that Jesus is the Messiah. Even today the Jewish people don't accept that Jesus is the Messiah. But in a thousand years, their eyes shall be opened. Zechariah 12.10 brother. Hmm. Zechariah 12.10. Ashish, brother, you are there. Can you read? Okay, most of the read, brother. Okay, brother. Zechariah uh... 12.10. Okay. Old Testament. It's written here. Uh, mm. And I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of compli complications and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced mm. and they shall okay. mourn. Mm. Mm. And they shall mourn for him and as one mourned for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Okay. First one. You see, God shall pour out the spirit of prayer and supplication upon Israel. Then they will see, their eyes will be opened. Then only they will see the deep things of God. Now, it is blinded, they can't see. Because they are all in the world. Once the God's Holy Spirit comes, then the eyes will be open. So this will be poured upon the entire world. Can a person be poured upon the entire world? The power of the end. So this verse clearly says, Holy Spirit is not a person, but it is an invisible power of God. See, Jesus himself clearly tells in Luke 24, 49. Read Brother Moses, Brother. Luke 24, 49. Hmm. And behold, hmm. I send the promise of my father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from one high. Uh, until I shall give you the power from high. So what did he promise? Uh, the power, Holy Spirit power from high, from heaven. So Holy Spirit is the power actually. Okay. So therefore Jesus said that. Uh, in Matthew 12, 32, okay, if you speak anything against the Son of Man, it should be forgiven. But if you speak anything against the, against the Holy Spirit, it shall be not forgiven. Why? Because the Jewish people could never understand that Jesus was the Messiah. Could never realize that. So if you speak against Jesus, not a problem. You will be forgiven. But if you speak anything against God's power, you see, 
so many things happening because of God's power. If you speak anything against this one, you shall never be forgiven. That's what Jesus said. Okay? So, uh, without realizing the real fact, if you speak anything against any person, you'll be forgiven. If you speak anything against the God's power, God shall never forget it. Therefore, this Holy Spirit, uh, it should keep on burning in us. Burning in us means what? Uh, it should keep on working in us. You see, therefore, Apostle Paul said in Ephesians 4.30, that grieve not the spirit. And uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.19, quench not the spirit. That means, this Holy Spirit is given to develop into Christ likeness, to understand more and more about God, and to bring about the same changes in our life, and to have the same mind in our mind. You see? But, uh, Instead of listening to God's words uh, and uh, keeping it and uh, implementing in our life, uh, if we keep on walking in a worldly life, uh, what does it mean? It means that we grieve in the Holy Spirit uh, like uh, King Saul did. Instead of accepting God's will, he began to grumble. You see, what happened? Uh, God took away the Spirit uh, because he grieved the Spirit. He quenched the Spirit. Uh. You see, brother, we should never do that one. Uh. We should surrender to God's word. Uh. You see, and grow into Christ likeness. Okay. Therefore, in the Bible, the Holy Spirit has got uh, different names. Okay. Spirit of God, Spirit of Sound Mind, Spirit of Christ, Spirit of Truth, Spirit of Wisdom, Spirit of Counsel, Spirit of Understanding, Spirit of Grace. So, all these things are work of the same Spirit, same power of God, but different manifestations. You see, the present, he says in 1 Corinthians 12 chapter now. So same is for the spirit, Holy Spirit, but different, you see, activities. Uh, and in the Bible, the word, uh, you see, Holy Spirit uh, is actually added. That means, in the original Bible, only the word Spirit is there. But the word Holy is added in the Bible, you see, in our English Bible, just to show the difference between the Holy Spirit. In the Bible, there are Holy Spirit also. Like, uh, you see, the spirit of fear, the evil spirit, the spirit of the world, the spirit of error, the spirit of antichrist, the spirit of slumber. All these types of, uh, you see, names are given. And just to show the difference between evil spirit and God's spirit, that word holy is mentioned in the Bible. Okay. <clears throat> now, to the conclusion, you see, uh, let us uh, read uh, uh, two verses. Uh, Second John, verse 9, brother. Second John, verse 9. Second John, verse 9. Hmm. Whosoever transgressed and added not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that added in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. See, he that abideth in the doctrine of Christ as how many huh, persons are? How many persons are there? Father and son. Son. So, Holy Spirit is there. Holy Spirit is not there. Why? Because Holy Spirit is not a person. If Holy Spirit was person, then it would have told, yeah, they have the father, they have the son, they also have the Holy Spirit. But here it says, they have the both uh, the so doctrine of Christ means what? Father and the Son. So, even when Jesus uh, was uh, uh, you see, giving witness, uh, he said, uh, he gave only two witnesses. Uh, you see, in the Bible, as per the law, there was a condition that you can give two or three witnesses. Okay? So, if Holy Spirit was a person, Jesus could have definitely told, no, Holy Spirit is a person and he gives me witness. But instead of that one, he said only two witnesses about himself and about his father. Read, brother. John 8, 18, brother. John 8, 18. Hmm. I am one that bear witness of myself and the father that sent me bread witness of me. See, the father will send me bears a witness of me. So how many witnesses are there? Only two witnesses. I myself and the father will send me. Why, why did not mention the Holy Spirit? Because Holy Spirit is not a person, it is an invisible power of God. Okay? So, there are only, yeah, you see, huh? two uh, see, persons. Uh, if there are two or three witnesses, uh, was there, Jesus could have easily told. But why did not say that the Holy Spirit is not a uh, person? Okay? So, we stop here. Next week, we 